Let's learn about the common starling in Southern Africa, also known as the European starling, Europeasis brew in Afrikaans. We're going to be talking about their origins, their spread, their impact in Southern Africa, and then their song. Now this is their worldwide distribution. The bright yellow, darker green and blue areas are their native range. However, they have since been introduced to North America, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and Argentina. But who brought them here? They were brought here by Cecil John Rhodes. He brought these starlings and other birds like the common chaffinch over from England, as well as the grey squirrels, so that they could remind him of his home country, England. In 1897, he released 18 common starlings in his hometown of Cape Town. They had been captured in England during winter. These starlings have thrived here in the southern tip of Africa, and this is their current distribution. In 1897, this was their tiny range in Cape Town, shown by the dark stripe and they quickly spread around the Cape Peninsula area by the early 1900s. And by the 1950s, they were all over the Western Cape. And by the 1960s, they had reached the Eastern Cape. And then by 1973, they were seen in KwaZulu-Natal. And by the early 2000s, they had reached the Free State. And by now, in 2025, they are all over most of South Africa, and they are just starting to spread north in Namibia. They are really thriving here. And one good thing that I've seen them do is pick ticks off cattle that are resting. And this one is eating a tick that it pulled off. They actively search for ticks on cattle and can often be found on resting cattle with their very close relatives, the ox peckers. If they spot a tick on a cow that is standing up, they will even fly up to it and try and pull it off like this one is doing. They forage on the ground mainly and this one is flipping over leaves to find insects hiding underneath. And this one is foraging for cat thorn berries in my garden. They also love nectar. This one is at a coral tree in early spring. In winter months they form large flocks as most starling species do and they are often with other starlings. And when disturbed they'll fly up to a perch in one movement. However, they often evict woodpeckers from their own nesting holes. This nest was probably excavated by black-collared barbets a few years ago. They defend their nesting holes aggressively. This one is fighting a black-collared barbet. And so they compete with our indigenous birds for food and nesting holes. And they're also known to spread the alien roikrans seeds around too. Let us listen to their strange song full of whistles, rattles, squawks and trolls and even mimicry of local birds.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments down below.